I'm going to keep it all the way real with you, which I generally do anyway, but I'm going to keep it all the way real today. I was not going to get this deck. As soon as I saw it on Amazon, I was like, that is going to be a deck that is cheesy <laughs> and lacks diversity. That's the first two things to come to my mind. And I'm very sorry because that taught me not to misjudge because I did think that I wasn't going to get it. It was on my anti haul list. But then I saw the back of it just by chance. Check this out. If you would like, let me put it right here for you guys in case you want to take a screenshot. I saw the back of it and look at the top. It's a woman of color and she looks to be plus sized. I was like, oh my God, I got to get this deck, you know? So I was like, all right, well, let's go see how inclusive is this deck really, okay? So I went ahead and got it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to check out the Tinsel Town Tarot from Amazon.com. My name is Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to somebody else who might want to know about the Tinseltown Tarot. Please leave us a positive comment in the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. All of my personal information is underneath this video. So if you want to get a reading or ask me a question, or if you have a deck that you would like me to review, please inbox me or hit me up on any social media or email. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to get started and we're going to see is the Tinseltown Tarot uh, cheesy <laughs> because I'm not so sure now. I think I misjudged it. One of the things I like is that when you open it, the top opens like that. Anybody who remembers, I used to smoke cigarettes. Thank God I quit. But I used to smoke cigarettes, and that is exactly how the box used to open. So there's nothing inside the box or any, you know, illustrations or anything. And it doesn't come with a guidebook. Um, I don't know if there's a digital one or not. I did not see it. But it does not come with any guidebook. All it came with was this card. A little description and on the back of the card it tell you a little something something about you know how to use but very little information so if you're somebody who wants a deck that has information you're going to have to buy a separate book i recommend tarot reversals by mary k greer it has all the cards in the upright and the reverse and it has some of the best explanations, card interpretations that I've seen in a long time. So if you want to get this, I suggest getting a companion book, that one or another one of your choice. So the first thing I see here is that this is so cute. <laughs> I got to say it's cute. The card stock is thin, but it's not too thin. I've had thinner. They're no, nah, I, I, I called them cheesy. I was wrong. They're not cheesy. They're not no. Nice backs. Very nice backs. Uh, a little bit of gloss to them, but not exceedingly glossy. And they are the size of a standard tarot card. So it's a standard size. Um, I do love that they're borderless. They got this little thing around it, but I don't mind that. I like that the artwork goes all the way. So that is technically a border, but to me, I'm going to call it borderless because it doesn't cut off the edges. So I like it. I like it a lot. And we can immediately see that it is not a Rider Waite clone. The Fool is totally different than we usually see the Fool. Um, she is on a journey like, you know, all the Fools are. And she doesn't have a dog, but look. There's a little doggy that is illustrated on her um, bag there. So they still have all of the Rider Waite Smith symbolisms. They just did them in a very clever way. I love the Hollywood sign in the back. So I like it. I was wrong. I was definitely wrong about this deck. It is very attractive. Um, I like the card stock. It's going to be easy to shuffle. So I'm feeling it so far. Let's see some more cards. I'm going to show you every one so you can decide if this is for you. <laughs> Another thing I like about this, oh, I like that, is the pink. I see so much pink in this deck, and I'm a pink 
person. So this deck is actually going to probably end up being one of my favorites. One that I didn't even want to get ends up being one of my favorites. I love the sexiness. I love the pink. Oh, the curtains. Ah, oh, I love the luxury. Ah, oh, the Empress is a woman of color. Beautiful gal. Nice and curvy. So we do have different sizes here. We have curvy. They have a little smaller, a little bigger. I like it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm looking for, he was older. So I'm seeing some age diversity. So I'm, that's what I'm looking for now is where is the diversity. So I've seen some age diversity. I see gender diversity. I've seen one person of color and I've seen two different body types so far. I love the play on the old days. Many people, uh, especially young people, young people don't always watch the old movies, the black and white ones. This is what this reminds me of. Now, it said 1950s Hollywood, so that would make sense because the 1950s and going into 60s is when we went from black and white to color on television and the main screen. So you're going to see a lot of these. Like this right here. I don't remember what movie this is from. And that's why a guidebook. They should do a guidebook. That's one of my biggest critiques on this. Is that they should do a guidebook. The reason why I said that is because. They need to show, tell people who the actress is. Or for instance what movie is based off of. I've seen this scene. I don't know if it was Casablanca or something like that. But I think it would be cool. If they let us know where the inspiration for the scene came from. Even if it wasn't the exact scene because i think they've changed you know you know they've changed these they've taken artistic you know privilege which i love but i would love to have seen them give us a guidebook that says okay this one was based on an old greta garbo movie for example that's the one on the box that made me get this deck beautiful card that that's the one right there that drew me in and i said i'll give it a chance what's the worst that can happen i could not like it and sell it who cares but I do. I do like it. Because uh, I do love the pink. <laughs> the pink really has me. Like I said, it, it really has drawn me in. And I'm not against Hollywood. I'm not a kind of person that's, you know, against old, especially old Hollywood. I like old Hollywood more. I think that's probably what the problem is. Old Hollywood does it for me. I like the glamour. I like the glitz. I like Joan Crawford. I like Marilyn Monroe. I like how glamorous they were. But New Hollywood does nothing for me. New Hollywood feels so fake. And I'm not saying that old Hollywood wasn't fake. It probably was fake. But it looked classy with its fakeness. It looked beautiful. looked elegant with its fakeness, you know. And now it doesn't look like that. It just looks, in my opinion, I mean, even the, um, even, let me get this. Oh, that looks like a picture of Marilyn Monroe took. This is the most beautiful hanged man I've ever seen. Oh, my God. I love this deck. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe how much I like this deck. I'm so surprised. I'm shocked. But, um, yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> Nosferatu, I like that a lot, too. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm really surprised at how much I'm feeling this deck. I want to see a little bit more of the body diversity, um, but there isn't a lot of it in Hollywood. I'm lucky I got any at all, for real, for real. But, um, yeah, it doesn't look the same. It was so beautiful and it was so classy when I would see those old movies or those old award shows. It was so awesome. And now when I look at Hollywood, I look at the stars from Hollywood. Uh, they're so basic. They're just regular looking people at this point with, with expensive stuff on. Yeah, you got on Gucci shoes, but you got on sneakers and jeans. I mean, that's not... Joan Crawford didn't step out in sneakers and jeans. She stepped out in elegant evening gowns and her hair was perfectly done and her, her nails perfectly manicured and her lipstick without a flaw. And, you know, I was like, come on. Oh, she's cute. I love that. I love that a lot. You know, it's, it was just so different and I liked the way it looked. Even if it was fake as hell, I liked the way that it looked. Now it's fake as hell and it doesn't look good. So I'm like, ugh. But I know times have changed and I'm a little old fashioned. I love that for the sun car. It reminds me of Lady Godiva. So I don't know if this was a movie about Godiva or something, but that is really cute. 
I like this too. Um, what I like about this is that if you pay attention, right? Remember I said how they using tarot symbolisms and some of these, um, but making it their own thing. This one really doesn't have any tarot symbolism in it. I don't see the angel, the coffins, any of that. But this really does show judgment for somebody in Tinseltown. If you're in Tinseltown, that Oscar or those awards that you, you know, win, that is your judgment. That's how people base how good your work is, you know. Um, and I know that some, you know, some actresses are really good. They haven't won as many awards. But usually, if you're a good actor or actress, you win at least one award, you know. Um, and people actually judge them based on that. And from what I understand, your salary may even increase based on which awards you've won. So this is a very important judgment for an actor or an actress. So that was a great call. Okay, great call, even though it was totally freestyled. I love the freestyle. Now, here's another freestyle I want y'all to peep. This is awesome. This is the wands, right? But the wand suit is represented by lipstick tubes. I think they should have called it the um, the lipstick suit, personally. I think that would have been a great opportunity. Ace of lipsticks would have been perfect. So, as you're getting ready to see, each one of these, isn't this cool? Has lipstick. <laughs> I love that. I love red lipstick, so I'm sold on that. This is the cutest. I love the choices that they've made. Okay, so now we have another woman of color. Love her pink hair and her little buddy sitting there. So I've seen like three women of color, two different body types, curvy and curvier. So it could be more people of color and it could be more, uh, you know, different body types like there are bigger people in hollywood smaller people taller people shorter people there is like melissa mccarthy's a big gal um lizzo well lizzo's in music but still she's a big gal you know so there are some larger gals some larger guys john goodman has always been a big guy so they could have added some more of that diversity that's the diversity that i'm talking about i like to see more of um but there is some here and I wasn't expecting any. <laughs> I wasn't expecting any at all. That's why I didn't want to get it. But now to see that there is some, I'm like, okay, I can work with this without being annoyed. <sighs> I love her fur. Oh, I love it. I love it. I am just smitten by this. I love it. This is going to be fun to work with. You know what this reminds me of? This has, even though there are men in this deck. Oh, look at her. Well, her. <laughs> I love it. Her fan. Even though there are men in this deck, this has a very feminine energy. As you can see with all the pink, all the lipsticks and the women, I'm feeling a very divine feminine energy um, coming off of this deck, even though there are men in the deck. So that does balance out the energies, but it definitely has more of a feminine feel to me. I would like to pair this deck with a goddess deck. Maybe I pair it with the legendary ladies goddess deck. That's going to be an interesting pairing for those of you that are into pairings. But I would think anything with the divine feminine would probably pair well here. <laughs> Look how he's signing it with the lipstick. So see, a page of lipsticks would have been perfect. That's what I mean. If they did a second edition, they should reprint these with the wands as the lipstick suits. Look at the Knight of Wands. Mm, mm, mm. I love how the men in old Hollywood look so clean. Not only were the women beautiful and you know, had their heels and everything on, the men looked clean. I love a man that looks clean. Clean haircut clean looking nice suit nice clean shoes love it i used to love that you don't see that anymore when i was a girl right it was like unheard of to not look good like for example if you were going to church you didn't come to church with no jeans and uh you know a sloppy shirt on you came to church with dress pants on you ironed your pants you cleaned your shoes you polished them um, you looked your best. I don't care how poor you were because my family did not have a lot of money. I come from, um, my mother was a police officer, but when I was a young girl, she was a bartender. So we didn't have a lot. We went to Catholic school, but we didn't have a lot of extra money for things like clothes and shoes and stuff like that. But I'll tell you one thing, when it was time to go somewhere, 
Even if we didn't have a new outfit, we knew to look presentable. I would never get up and go places and not look presentable. That has changed, not just in Hollywood, but in life in general. And it's fine. You know, people do whatever is best for them. But I liked it. I liked when people dressed up to go to church. I liked it when people dressed nicely to go to a wedding, for example. Why would you come to somebody's wedding in jeans? Like, to me, that's the tackiest thing in the world. But it's accessible. It's, um, it's acceptable now. So I, I'm overruled. <laughs> I'm overruled by a lot. Because people, you know, times have changed. And I'm old-fashioned. I know. I was born in the 70s. So that's my thing. But, yeah. So she has a, a, a larger body type. Uh, she is of color. Uh, nice. Three of Pentacles. Working together. Okay. Great Three of Pentacles moment. I'm feeling it. So, yeah, I like that. And I wish it stayed that way, but it didn't. <laughs> now people just wear any old thing, you know. And I'm just like, ugh. Oh, wow. Five of Pentacles. Reminds me of an actress who has, back in those days, if you aged or if you looked like you were aging, that's why so many actresses in Hollywood uh, started to do plastic surgery as soon as it was available. Because the longer you could look young, the longer you could get roles. So that Five of Pentacles reminds me of maybe an older actress. I remember Joan Crawford talking about that. But it reminds me of maybe an older actress who has, you know got to the point where she can't get you know jobs anymore that's the wonderful thing about plastic surgery is that you can look 25 <laughs> when you're 67 you know so a lot of them utilized those back then and the technology has only gotten better this is beautiful look at that i they used to always wear those those turbans. And they were still popular. As a matter of fact, I've still seen them. But they're just not as popular anymore. The Nine of Pentacles. She does look wealthy. And content and secure. So, oh, another woman of color. So, yeah, I, I, I give it to this deck. It's not as... It's not cheesy. I'll give it that. It is not cheesy. It is clever. It is well thought out. And clearly, whoever did this deck or whoever was the team on this deck, they understood tarot. Because all of these images, even the ones that are totally different from the tarot system, fit perfectly. They fit into the energy. Oh, this man looks like he's Asian. So we have an Asian person. <laughs> okay. So we do have some diversity going on. You know I always could stand for more, but we do have some. So I was, I was, I misjudged this deck, and I feel bad now. <laughs> I feel bad because I love it. <laughs> Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles got some beautiful legs, and she's clearly a color. I don't know what color. Uh, she looks to me like she may be like um, Brazilian or something, but either way, she has a very voluptuous body type. She is like probably the most voluptuous woman we've seen so far. Awesome. Awesome. I would love to see more of the body diversity, definitely. And we haven't had a lot. We've had some age diversity. He's probably like about 40, 45 years old. You see him the size of his temples. And some of the girls, some of the guys too, were very young. So we have some diversity in age, but I haven't seen any real elders yet. I would love to see some elders, some crone energy and more so basically i would love to see more elders and i would see love to see more people of color put it like that but it's not cheesy or um you know completely you know exclusive like i thought it was going to be it's actually really cool now this is really cool now for this one i would have chosen the ace of bubblies so this suit could have been bubbly the last suit was pentacles. I, I would have used probably money or coins or something. And we know about the wands. Now, these are our cups. The cups is my favorite suit. So, so far, they're, they're selling me on the cups. I'm, 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 I'm feeling it so far. The two of cups. Mm -hmm. That's that same Asian guy we saw before. Mm, okay. And, okay. Three friends. Another beautiful lady of color. And her two buddies. And they're all different colors. Because she's clearly a little... She might be European. 
We don't know what she is. She could be, like I said, Brazilian, Costa Rican, Argentinian, almost anything. So nice little, I like the way that they're positioned. She could be of, of African descent. I like how they're positioned and I like the, that, you know, diverse energy going on. Where you can actually see it in their colors. That's cool. The Three of Cups is always three women, you know, really vibing. Okay, yeah. I like what they did with his hair. I've seen this in a lot of the men's hair. That was something I used to always see in comic books. Very common illustration technique. Ooh. And the pink champagne at that. Mm, mm, mm. You know, man, I'm salty. I should have been got this deck. <laughs> the Six of Cups. Happiness. Happiness I see here. The Six of Cups generally indicates um, a childlike, you know, happiness. It would have been cool to have they had thrown in some kids because a lot of the Hollywood people used to like Joan Crawford used to do all kinds of like, you know, radio things with her kids and things like that. They all did. It was part of their PR. They always wanted to see you with your family and with your dog and stuff like that. Ooh, trying to pick the seven of cups is about choice. So who does she take a drink from? Mm. She could get one from the waiter. And then she has three gentlemen offering her a drink as well. Now that's a choice, right, ladies? <laughs> three handsome gentlemen offering you a drink? Like, ooh, I would take, ooh, which one would I take? I would take the pink one and get everybody's number. <laughs> if I was her, take the pink one and get all of their numbers and then you can choose which one of them you want to make your boyfriend. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. The pink has me. The pink has me and the card stop definitely has me. I'm I'm gonna love shuffling these. Oh, she's the nine of cups. And she has a larger body type. And she is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. They did put diversity in here. They did. They definitely did. I always want more. I don't care how diverse you are, I want more. But I, I give them that. They did. I like that. That's pretty. I like that a lot. page of cups look at it look how smooth he look with his fedora on this is what i'm talking about i love to see a gentleman dress like this the color scheme isn't really my thing i would love to see maybe eh, black pants his pants are a little grayish i like to see them a little darker and maybe a white shirt and we can and maybe a pink hat with a pink thing around it I'm real funny about, you know, combinations, but he looks awesome. He looks clean. He looks presentable. He looks very handsome. Now, look at him. Go ahead, Sidney Portier. <laughs> I don't know if that's him, but that's what it reminded me of. I love it. He looks smooth. That's what I mean. Look how clean he looks with his tie on. Oh, I missed when, when I was a girl, this is how the guys dressed. The guys, in, not in my neighborhood, really, but the guys at church. I went to a Catholic school. So the guys at school, they had on their, you know, their uniforms and things like that. But they looked really nice and really presentable. And gone are those days, ladies and gentlemen. But at least we have, whoa. <laughs> whoa, mama. At least we have, uh, yeah. At least we have decks like this to remind us of the old days. I love her. I love her. She's not that big um, as far as her size is concerned. She's a, she's a, I would say about an average size, but she's very voluptuous. I love her being inside the cup. I love it. <laughs> I love that. That is cute. That is really cute. And here is our king of cups. Hmm, very dapper Dan. I love him with his little, his little cane, walking stick thing. Okay. And this is our last suit. This is the swords. So swords, I think, yeah, they could have kept swords as swords. Can't think of anything we could have changed swords to in Hollywood. I can't think of anything, but I like it. That looks like Fred Astaire. That reminds me of Fred Astaire. Love it. Love the steps. Yeah, they made some really positive choices with this deck. The two of swords, the sunglasses, the outfits, the details are just amazing. Let's check out her. Oh, I love how the three of swords is crying. See, this is the traditional three of swords. Usually this is the whole card. It's like that big. But they put it on her jacket as a pen and then have her crying because that particular symbol often indicates heartbreak, sorrow. So that's like awesome
the Four of Swords. She's resting now. Nice. Love the chandelier. Love it. Love the outfit. Love that robe. Oh, red pretty robe like that. That is nice. Okay. I love how the Hollywood sign is in the back of so many of these. That is really cool. I saw that sign up close and personal and took a picture of it when I was in L.A. I remember I went to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. <laughs> and I could see it from there and I took a picture. Ah, another beautiful lady of color. Off to better times with her fur coat on. I love it. Look at the neon swords. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, they, they made some awesome choices. Let's see our seven. Yeah. He looked like he up to no good. Trying to steal them last two swords. Okay, check it, this one. Another larger body type. Yes. Okay, eight of swords. I see you. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, they did take the time to put it in here in a lot of different ways. Mm, nine of swords. Poor dear. Can't sleep. Sheesh, this guy's cut up. Whew, my goodness. Great depiction. Ooh, look at Mr. Handsome here. Okay, I see you. Like his suit. Like the execution. Love the sword as the pin for his tie. Very clever. Very clever. Here's our Knight of Swords. Okay. And again, the, the swords right there on his vehicle. Hollywood sign in the background. Mm, beautiful blue California sky. When I was in California, I was in California, I think, three times. And every time I was there, the weather was perfect and warm and beautiful. San Diego was awesome, but L.A. was so much fun. It's a different energy. Like driving from San Diego to L.A. when I was there, it was a real different energy, but it was great. Oh, look at her. Okay. Look like she's doing a movie scene where she's like a goddess or something. That's cool. So what would I say? That's the last card. So what would I say about this deck? I would say this deck is a 9 out of 10. I took off one point because it could definitely stand more diversity. But I'm surprised I gave it a 9 out of 10. When I first saw it, I gave it a 0 out of 10. So <laughs> I've come a long way. I will give it a 9 out of 10. It needs more diversity. There should be a guidebook. And the guidebook should really tell us what these images are. Because a lot of them I've seen before. And I know they're tied into different movies or pictures that we've seen from history. From this Hollywood uh, Tinseltown era. I think that they should change the name of the suits. Uh, wands should definitely be lipsticks. And cups should definitely be bubbly. Or yeah, Ace of Bubbly would have been cool. Um, the other two, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe uh, the uh, pentacles could have been money. Just, you know, the, the ace of money or something like that. And it could have been represented by stacks of cash or something. Um, and uh, let me see the swords. I think they did a good job with the swords. I probably would have kept them as the swords. Um, so those are my ideas but honestly i don't take off for any of those that's just my ideas just i think missed opportunities that would have been really cool so if you like this deck i definitely recommend it underneath this video i will remember to put in here uh what, what should i put underneath the video uh i will put the link to this deck this one is my favorite that's going to be my favorite one i will put the link to this deck or you can buy it on Amazon.com. Like I said, I am an affiliate. So if you do use my code, I'll be eternally grateful. Because Amazon will give me a few pennies. And a few pennies are better than no pennies. Always. And one of the things I want to say about this Empress before I go. Is that a lot of people don't like when the Empress is pregnant. This Empress is not pregnant. And if she is pregnant, she must not be that far along. <laughs> okay. And a lot of people, come, you know, they complain about that. I have no problems with the Empress being pregnant. I think it makes perfect sense. But some people do take issue with that. So if you're a person who would prefer a non-pregnant Empress, here's your girl. Um, and the, it's diverse enough for people who want a diverse deck. I think it is diverse enough. Of course, like I said, it could be more. 
Um, and the images that you see, remember I talked about the needing a guidebook for the images. Some of them you'll recognize, maybe you'll see them in passing and be like, oh, that's from my tarot deck. So I definitely do recommend it. I give it a 9 out of 10 and I recommend it to anybody for their tarot collection. Okay? You come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.